Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Different surroundings. Yay. Excuse me. <coughs> I've, got a, I've got a stinking head cold at the moment. It's actually starting to get a bit better, but I still, <laughs> still feel rubbish. Um, yeah, Georgia's flat. A new flat. She's eventually moved out. Uh, yeah, she's given us permission just to like show around. Uh, obviously, I'm not sure the location, but it's a it's a work in progress. We can see. <laughs> uh, hang on, right. So this is the living room as as you come in. We've got loads of boxes here which need to be collapsed down because we've only just put the things up. TV unit, lamp, just got an internet sorted, which is down there, I think, is that for a second? I can't tell. Yes, yeah. Just got that sorted an hour ago. Nice TV unit, little unit. Just going to move stuff around, so when, there's going to be, um, when it gets delivered, it's not getting delivered for a couple of weeks, so there's going to be a big sofa, big corner sofa. Got this delivered today. Now, this is from Dunelm. Uh, this is the second one because the first one came in this glass as you can hear it's quite thin that was smashed so we we'll had to send the whole thing back again and get another one now this turned up today and it's it's uh it's nice i like it she's probably going to put different ornaments on but i'll just put them on there to show that's a lovely lamp it's like really like a cool like a nice warm light um Walls need painting and everything. There's uh, there's marks all over them. Nice big cupboard here. It's like boiler and stuff like that. You know, great place for ironing boards. As you can see, camp chairs. Stairs. <laughs> uh, Actually, I'll tell you what, they look they look even steeper on the camera and what they are in real life. <laughs> uh, dishes, fridge. It's a lovely little kitchen, mind. Oops, sorry, that's my belt. It's a lovely little kitchen. Got a microwave and everything like that we've got. Uh, she's got dishes to do. Naughty, naughty. Tell you what, Georgia's new boyfriend bought her those flowers about two weeks ago. They've been from our house. They were in our house for a week. Then they've come down here and been in here a week. And tell you what, they're only just starting to die off now. Really nice flowers. Really good quality ones wherever you got them. Um, bathroom. Now I'm going to tell you a little story in a second. And main bedroom, I'm not show you too much. Main bedroom. And spare bedroom, there's another bed in there. Got a close on the area. Now, what I've done. I took inspiration from a video I've seen. A couple of weeks ago, I thought, I am so going to do that. So well, where a woman goes to her daughter's house and she's jumping on the sofas and she's leaving everything a mess, just like the daughter would, would have done at home beforehand. So, yeah, dishes. Yeah, toilet seat up. Toilet roll on the top. Towel dumped on the top. Uh, what have I got here? Can of pop there. Hmm. <laughs> I've been looking for other things I can do, but there's, there's nothing at the moment that I can do. That'll do for now. She'll probably come in tonight after work. She thinks she's late, so she'll come in. She'll be knackered, then probably kick off. Probably ring or something, kick off. <laughs> oh, another thing. Tea towel on the bench. There we are, just dumped it down there. Yeah. All this stuff. I tell you what, this. There's that, the cafeteria, and there's like a dish thing in there. There was a bag left in the cupboard from the previous tenants. And when the estate agents done an inspection of the place, they told them they had to come back and get the bag because they had some the stuff in. So they came back, and the only thing out of the bag that they wanted. Oh, it's a hoover attachment just like a nozzle the rest of the stuff in the bag they said that was here from the previous tenants which was like a year or so ago um the estate agent said 
just dump it, get rid of it, dump it in the bin. We didn't know what was in the bag. So when we checked, there's a cafeteria in there, which Georgia was going to buy one anyway. So it saves a buying one. Cafeteria, that dish, and that big, huge thing. Sorry, anybody who's got headphones on, tissue in there. Uh, so yeah, save a few quid there. I'll just get them cleaned up and everything. Ah, it's so cool. Tell you what, it's so cosy in here. Me and Denise love it here. I, 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 whenever I come here, I don't want to go home. I feel dead relaxed in here. So nice, and I can sit out the window, watch the traffic, and you know, Georgia rang up earlier. That's in, oh, guess what, guess what, guess what, excitement. She went, what, and I went, seen a fire engine before. <laughs> and there was two people walking down the street. <laughs> oh, your nosy neighbour. <laughs> uh, but it's really nice. There's, there's loads we're going to get done. We need to get the walls and everything painted. Probably the ceiling as well, um, before the sofa turns up. Uh, but we're going to need to move stuff out, get dust sheets down to protect the carpet. I don't think the landlord will be too chuffed if we get paint all over his carpet. Um, so the day need all doing. Luckily, George's boyfriend, six foot seven, so he can reach up there. Because I ain't, ain't it? Uh, this is the main room it needs doing. Obviously, we can they probably do stuff in other rooms, but this is the main one, because this is where it'd be relaxing watching telly, you know? Uh, I said they. Um, I mean, she will. Obviously, the, the boyfriend will be around and but he, you know, occasionally. Um, I don't know. Actually, that, that brings up a thing. Because we had this conversation the other day, me and Georgia, we were laughing about it. You know, when, when I was younger, if you went out with somebody, you were like boyfriend and girlfriend. Now they don't. They're sort of like, chat a bit on the internet a little bit on there then they meet up and they only, what they class themselves as just talking that's what they get not going out with each other you know <laughs> we're, ju we're just talking yeah whatever that's the new term for going out with somebody or being boyfriend girlfriend or if you're really um, older than me courting <laughs> Yeah, when I was younger and I was courting. Yeah. But now it's just, we're just talking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the, there's loads to do. But even without that, it's still dead cosy. So it's really quiet. You can, can hear the traffic go past, but that is a busy main road. Um, and there's trucks go down there and all sorts. But you don't really notice it. I was telling George on this, I used to live in a flat years ago um, with my ex-wife before I got married. And we were literally eight foot off this busy main road with a tiny little bit of grass outside, then the footpath, then the road. And it was a busy road. After a couple of weeks, we didn't even notice the huge buses rumbling past our window and everything shaking. And <laughs> there was actually a train track behind her as well. Didn't even notice that. Um, so yeah, said, you'll not notice the road, honestly, uh, and you don't. And the floors, by the sounds of it, are concrete. Not heard a thing from the neighbour. It's brilliant. But keep having to tell her. And when on video calls again, Georgia, you sound like you're shouting. You know, the, the, the girl downstairs. You know, but think of her. But we've never heard her. Wow, it's silent. Um, no squeaky floors or nothing like that. It's bliss coming here <laughs> compared to our house. Uh, but yeah, like I say it's so cosy. Uh, I really hope Georgia likes it enough to stay here for for quite a while. And she seems to like it at the moment, and it's really local to us. We can be here in like five minutes. Uh, it's not not too far. It's not too difficult for her to get to work or anything like that. And history loads of shops around here, so it's an ideal location. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, I just sort of I'd come on and show you this. 
uh, to any other news. No, we've got this head cold. Denise has got the head cold. She's starting to clear up as well. Uh, what have I had this week? For the last couple of weeks, I think this week was the third week, I've been having therapy and counselling uh, because all the, the COVID stuff and everything and being stuck in the house and just feeling like a failure altogether. Um, it's really took a, took its toll on my mental health, so I'm uh, getting therapy for it so once a week, which is good. That's, actually over the phone as well so it's really easy don't have to travel when the, which I've had to do in the past when I've had counseling stuff like that um physio I had to call the physio off yesterday she was due to come around I said I wouldn't come around I said, I've got such a stinking head cold I don't want to pass it on to you then you you're going to other places passing it on to them because at the moment it, loads of people we know seem to have this head cold that seems to be doing the rounds Thankfully, it only lasts a couple of days by the feels of it. Uh, is that it? Any more news? No, it's peace and, peace and quiet in our house now. It's, we're, we're not missing Georgia yet. It doesn't It doesn't feel strange yet, having, not having Georgia there. Because, <clears throat> I don't know, because she's been away in the past with like a friend like, for a few days. The only time it's felt strange is when we've been here and we've, we've left in Georgia, sort of locked the door behind her and stuff like that. That's, that's when it's sort of like, mm, not our house anymore. Uh, it has been a couple of times that night I've been lying there. Like, normally Georgia would just barge into the bedroom. Oh, you know, this happened today. Da -da 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 uh, oh, do you know what? I've seen, seen this on the internet. Da -da 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 -da. It's none of that. It's, it's weird. That, that part's weird, but... Um, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, I feel like me and Denise, well, probably not because we used to talk loads anyway, but I feel like we're talking loads. We're talking more. Probably not, but it feels like we are. Uh, it's, it's just nice. You know, it's just chilled, just relaxing. Still pouring down. I'm waiting for the rain to die down so I can go to my car and go home. Uh, it's absolutely lashing it down. Um, yeah, so but it's good. I'm really chuffed for, for Georgia. We both are. Uh, she's had to go shopping for herself. I was around the other day and we got a gas, electricity, all the utilities set up and stuff like that. Um, she did it. Made sure she did it. I talked through so right, okay, this is what you need to do. Ring this number, tell them this, da -da -da, and she done it all. Um and she done it really well. There's no problems. And she I don't know how it's like. I know she's twenty two now, but I still see her as a little girl, you know. Um but she's grown up. Yeah, got her own place. She's loving it and she's surviving perfectly fine at the moment. Um I had a laugh the other night, mind. She was on a video call and Bear in mind, Georgia is, how can I put it nicely, a little bit scared of spiders, let's just say it like that, uh, even though I've tried to bring it up not to be, um, I've tried to teach her to like hold stuff and, and all that sort of thing, but a boyfriend, who was six foot seven, Probably that's the duck when he goes through these doors, especially the light shade, probably bangs his head. Um, but her boyfriend is worse than her. And she video called us the other night. She was in the kitchen putting the shopping away that she'd been out to Tesco. Oh, he hit me the back on it. She's like, you get it, I'm not getting it, I'm putting the shopping away and all this. And he had, the, just trying to catch this spider with a, with a glass. He got the glass over the spider. But couldn't get it after that, didn't know what to do, and he was terrified in case he dropped it. And this big six foot seven lump flipping, <laughs> screaming like a girl. He, Georgia was on the phone, on the video chat, she was nearly wetting herself laughing. It was so funny. And if, to somebody who's more scared than Georgia, wow. I am shocked. <laughs> <coughs> <sighs> 
Right. I'll get going for now. Um, let's see this. Get me caught on and rush down to the car or something. Now, well, I can't rush. I'll get me caught on and go down to the car and get myself home. Mm. Ready for Denise because she'll be. Oh, she'll be on her way home now. Right, I'd better get going then. <laughs> Catch you later. Good afternoon. It's Saturday. God, dear. Uh, it's Saturday. Okay. Quite a bit of loads of boxes. Um, the corner's looking a lot nicer there. I love the way that does that. It's like nearly gothic. <laughs> uh, Denise is away shopping with her mother. And here's Georgia. Hello. You enjoying your flat? Yes, I'm, I'm cooking. Cooking? What are you cooking? Super noodles. <laughs> super noodles. Oh, can I have super noodle sandwiches? Okay. Well, come on, tell us about your flat. What's the best thing about having a flat now? Not having to put up again. Yeah, well, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> no. It feels weird being by myself coming back from work. Like, by myself and stuff like that. But. Well, rather than getting picked up every night. Yes. Taxi service. Yeah. Yes. Um, if it makes you feel any better, it's much better for us. No, it's like I do I do get up for a lot quicker and do things in the morning for some reason. Yeah, you haven't been here for work yet. Well, that we know of. Well, obviously has. Right. Mum knew about it, but I was only... Oh, is this the one when you messed your shift up? Yeah, I yeah. I started at nine and then I started at eight and I was still sat on the toilet but like quarter to eight. <laughs> With my pyjamas on. <laughs> Well, I was a bit like, oh. But yeah, I get up quite a lot quicker because I haven't got time to just lie in bed because mum doesn't do things anymore. That's so. it, yeah. You complain when you don't have much time in the morning now. Like, Make mm -hmm. me breakfast, me, me lunch at the night time, like the sandwiches yeah. and that. You should I'll iron put, your clothes at night as well. Cut the mouse and stuff like that, so. Mm -hmm. Got me washing in now. Yeah. You feel a little miss independent now? Show me pasta. Look at this, was all set up. Pasta, spaghetti, root, what's that? Rice, tea bag, sugar. Crumpets. crumpets. Ooh, didn't know you had crumpets. I want to lick them. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. So dishes need doing. Still, from yesterday. You know the ones that he shoved in there? Yeah. And then I got me fridge. Stocked. Yeah, she is quite stocked. Kind of side on the top there. Stocked freezer as well. Look at this. Meats and everything. And I've got some Ben and Jerry's. Good ben and Jerry's. And she's got goo pots. Goo pots. <laughs> That's she's all organised as well. Wow. Got a little egg tray. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're doing well. You're doing well. So we're just enjoying the peace and quiet while Denise is away. Because she's just, gosh, she just never shuts up, does she? No. <laughs> so it's, um, what time is it? Quarter two, the match will be on soon. Newcastle, oh, sorry, Fulham versus Newcastle. Yeah. George's boyfriend is away to the match. He's not, right. He's not my boyfriend. Talking. For the man doesn't understand talking. See what I mean? I, I, that, this was actually brought up in the clip I done yesterday. Talking. They're just talking. Getting to know each other. Eh? Getting to know each other. Yeah, getting to know each other. Yeah. Yeah, so he's there anyway, and he's not very happy. He's just sent a message that they've taken his flag off him because it doesn't have a fire label on it. <laughs> Fire standard label when they probably bought it just outside the ground or something, you know. So he's not very happy. He was probably wanting to stand like on the seats doing this with his flag, probably. Oh, he's, he was going to be on TV. Yeah, uh, probably. All he needs to do is stand up, he'd be towering above everybody else. <laughs> we have to duck to get under here. Mm. Yeah, so all quiet at the moment. We're just relaxing, gonna watch the match. Um, Denise might be being in a McDonald's, I don't know. 
but we'll see. Should, should be back in about an hour's time. Oh, that's a close up on my face there. <laughs> ah. uh, yeah, so catch you a bit later on. Good evening. Sorry, a little cough there. <clears throat> hey, it's 20 to 7 at night. We've just got home from George's. Um, watched the match here. Newcastle's won. Yes, what a game. Uh, all sorts of excitement in it. Um, been to the shop and bought Georgia Hoover, a vacuum cleaner or whatever. So she's happy now. <laughs> TV and vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hello. <laughs> Long time no see. Hello. All three have been on. Wow, it's not often that happens. <laughs> so, how's you? I'm all right. Yeah, not too bad. Just uh, please that all the hard work's done. But yeah, the main stuff's yeah, done. Yeah. Yeah, and that day, uh, it's just little bits and pieces now that need sorting, so. But she's just settled in really well. Charles. She has. Yeah. And it's been nice spending the day with that today, just uh, chilling out. And yeah, it, it's, been, been, it's been funny, yeah. we've had some laughs. Yeah. Um, doing bits and bobs of them. One thing I like seeing is her putting a little touches onto it. Yeah. It's like. Not like a bedroom, which there's only so much you can do to a bedroom. Like, sorry, I didn't mean like <laughs> only so much you can do to a bedroom. But this is her flat, and she's picking the color of light shades and units and settee and yeah, all the pictures on the wall. And she's actually surprised us, isn't she? Which is funny because we keep going. We'll be quite like that. <laughs> she's actually, yeah, she's got good taste. But we were expecting like when she first mentioned about getting a place of her own. It'd be also like blingy and I mean, all sorts. It's not like that at all. It's not that? like that. It's like quite a grown up theme, you know, like wood and black and stuff like that, which yeah. seems to be popular at the moment. Yeah. And um, greys and things like that. Was, yeah. Well, she's got that lovely mat as well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Don't wait for her so far to come. Oh, no, that'll be great. That'll be You'll nice. never get rid of us then. <laughs> he didn't want to come home. I keep wondering whose flat it is. I know. <laughs> George has kind of got to be polite and, you know, wish him go. <laughs> so, uh, but I lay, on, I lay on the spare bed just to say, oh, I'm trying out, see what it is. Oh, my God, I didn't want to get off it. it was so like, comfortable. Oh, it's like comfortable, yeah. <laughs> nice. We'll have to get one of those mattresses. Because she's got the same on her double bed. Are you mm -hmm. Where from? Or what make? Or? It's cool. I'm not sure how they make, but it's a bed company called Sleeps. It's like Sleeps. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, Triton from Red Dwarf. Sleeps. <laughs> just around the corner from where we live. Because um, my dad got one and he liked his. Yeah, aye. So. And they're normally, your mum and dad are normally quite fussy about mattresses, aren't they? Mm -hmm. they spend a fortune on the things. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that might be worth it because the ones we've got are IKEA ones, the ones we've got. An IKEA or weird size. European size, yeah, or Scandinavian size or something like that. So they're slightly different to your normal double bed. I mean, we've had it for a long time. So. Oh God, I, I would you a change like? <laughs> oh. So, but yeah, mm. it's going good. It is. It is. Um, I think it's just spending the day with my boyfriend tomorrow. I'd say that she went mad before when I called her uh, boyfriend. Oh, boy, not boyfriend. <laughs> no, the, the, the person she's talking to. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> I know, like when us were younger, we just went, it's me boyfriend. Yeah, it's me boyfriend. Will you go out with us? <laughs> Will you ask her if she'll go out with us? <laughs> okay, our friend. <laughs> Whatever he is. <laughs> um, yeah. Spend the day with another football match on, so... Yeah, well, he went down to London, didn't he, for the Fulham v Newcastle one. We yeah. watched it on telly because it's a lot cheaper than travelling down. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he'll be, he'll be coming back starting drunk, so... He'll, he'll, he can stay at home with his parents. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, there's the meeting up tomorrow, aren't there? So he'll have a stinking hangover, so... Great. <laughs> You're not gonna have a bath. I'm gonna have a bath, yeah. That's I'm gonna so... chill for an hour. Then. And it's it's Saturday night. What night's that? Carbonara Saturday. Carbonara Saturday, yeah. 
or whether mm. he was not at all last Saturday because he didn't get it, did he, on the, on no. the Saturday? No, no. Because we were busy. Not happy at all. <laughs> so it was Monday. Uh, I don't let her forget it. <laughs> Still got to have me tagged in tally. Carbonara. <laughs> uh, what's the plans tomorrow? Do you not know yet? Uh, do you know? I still need to do the food shop. Uh, woohoo. Yeah. Um, oh, can I go? Can I go blasting around in the electric cars? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll see how it is. I don't know. You can't even predict the weather at the moment, can you? So no. it keeps raining. It's blue skies now. It was raining just before. Uh, but it's not cold though. I don't well, think it's, it's lovely. I think we've been out before. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'll get going. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Uh, well, me, uh, yeah, you know, probably catch up with you tomorrow. You know, can't vlog inside the supermarket because they've got music playing on the tannoys. I don't want <laughs> copyright strikes and things like that. So, uh, yeah, but have a good night. Bye. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. We're on our way to Lidl. Or Lidl. And it's afternoon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. ah, well, it's the afternoon. <laughs> uh, I'm losing my voice, so if I if I sound if I sound like Scooby Doo, that's why. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, just how we do a weekly shop. Want to get past this Amazon van? Nice big dent in it. <laughs> I didn't know what that was in the road, it was somebody's hood. I thought it was a cat or something. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, so, yeah. So, oh, howdy. Right, we better tell the news, eh? Georgia. And the person she's talking to <laughs> are now officially boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> so, we found out this morning. So she's just done talking. <laughs> now they've moved on. <laughs> they've moved on, they're now boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> uh, oh, happy birthday to, to Stu. Stu. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah. 21 again. 21 again and again and again and again and again. And again. <laughs> Hope you have a great day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to pop down later. We're taking the rodent, the hamster, down there. So we can. Stink her house out, not ours. Mm. Well, I think. Yeah, so <laughs> he's been cleaned out. We're gonna uh, take him down later on. Yes, um, took us two hours. While I was asleep. But I gave it a good clean, so. At well, least for, for our new home. Yes. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, oh, he came back. Yeah, he was drunk when he came back, wasn't he? He's slightly hung over this morning. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Just going to do the shopping, uh, watch a football, take cookie down. Manchester City versus Man United, the football. Mark Corn, all those, you, all those who know him, he supports Man United. So come on, Man City. <laughs> Newcastle did yesterday, one, yay, 4 1. So that's propelled us up there. It was seventh now, you know. Oh, it? Wow. Oh. This time last season, we were fighting relegation. That's good. Um, so, yeah, come on, Man City, for later. Uh, ooh, did I have to go for a coffee? If we've got time. If we've got time. Oh, that bear. Donning my new shoulder t shirt. Which is a, a charity. Um, I'm trying to get. Uh, well, it's I'm supposed to be doing ten thousand steps a day, but obviously, you know, crutches and everything. I, I can't. Um, but I, I've explained it to them. They said absolutely fine. Just do what you can. And any any help is really appreciated. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm doing it for charity. I've got a fundraiser set up. I've got my targets set at £100 for them. Um, I got my first donation last night. Yeah. Off a neighbour. Off a neighbour, yeah. So 
so yeah, it, it gives, I, I explained it to them as well, so it gives me motivation to try and get out and maybe get a bit more exercise than what I have been doing, you know, and I'm, I'm doing it to like help, help other people, help the homeless and all that sort of thing, you know, so yeah, so all's good, so here we are anyway. <laughs> Busy car park. Yeah, so we'll get going for the moment. Afternoon, definitely afternoon still. 20 to 5. Hey, we've just got back from um, <coughs> from Georgia's. Georgia's had a boyfriend watching the matches. Man said he got stuffed. Uh, Man United got stuffed 6 3. So funny. Been winding Mark Corn up. Uh, he's not biting, or he's trying not to bite anyway. Um, so, yeah, so we've just been down to our house, dropped Cookie, the hamster, off. Um, so she'll be pleased to see see the hamster when she gets home. And I don't know if you can hear there, it's uh, tea time for the cats. It's just all meows and everything. Sunday night is tuna night, isn't it? <laughs> what we just dropped. <laughs> the water over it. Just dropped the water. <laughs> meow, meow. Yes, I know. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I think, I don't know, put pants on, have a shave and everything, have a bath or a shower. We'll see how it goes. But apart from that, not much is happening. We've got uh, mince and dumplings. Mince and dumplings for tea. For tea. Nice. Yeah. Oh, crikey. <laughs> oh, oh, you think you didn't get fed? <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You're going to relax now? Yeah. Gym jams on and everything? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not even six o'clock, we'll get with Jim Jams on. It's not even five o'clock. No, it's not even five but... Oh, sorry, Costa. We can get with Jim Jams on. Relax. Chill out. Uh, but yeah. Um, oh, little thing in case anybody's watching it. There's a movie called Lou, which is out or just being out or something. If anybody's fancy watching and watching that, it's okay. It's a, it's a good movie. Um, Bit of a thriller kind of thing. I wouldn't say it's sort of on the edge of your seat, sort of nail biting sort of drama. Some of it's quite predictable. Uh, uh, so <laughs> it, it's good. The synopsis is a woman's daughter goes missing, and the woman next door helps. Finder, um, there's loads of stuff in between. Obviously, pretty simple story, and I just yeah. But if you're watching, want something that's not too heavy, you can watch Lou, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'll get away. Um, hope everybody's had a good weekend, and yeah. Have a good week, whatever you are doing, Costa. Yeah, right. Say bye. Bye. Bye bye.